In today's video, we're going to be talking about three things that God might do when he's protecting you from marrying the wrong person. There was a lady that prior to meeting her husband, she had another engagement. So she was engaged once before and it did not turn out. She did not end up marrying that person. And at the time, it was really hard for her to go through that breakup, to go through that pain. And she really had to heal from it and grow from it before God brought her husband into her life. And she ended up marrying the right person. So I'm making this video for anyone who feels like why did this breakup happen? Or why did God block this relationship or block this opportunity? Why is it taking so long for me to find the right person? If you just need some encouragement, I'm just here to encourage and to let you know that God has a plan for you. His plan for you is perfect. And you see what he has for you. Nothing can change that. Nobody can take that away from you. I believe that no matter what we go through in life, even when we go through hard times, God is using it for our good. So I just want to encourage you today to know that God didn't stop the relationship because he doesn't want you to have love or because he doesn't want you to be married or whatever that is. But I believe that God blocks certain things from taking place in our life because he loves us and because he's a good father protecting us. He's protecting us. He's doing it for our own good and he has something better in store. So the best is yet to come. So now let's go straight to the three things that God might do when he's protecting you from marrying the wrong person. Number one. One of the things that God will do when he is protecting you from marrying the wrong person is that he will expose the truth about that person and the truth will come to light. I'm telling you, the truth always comes to light. Marriage is a big step. Marriage is a lifelong commitment. It's not something to play with. So he is going to expose and show some red flags. Do not ignore those red flags. I'm going to make another video on the different red flags to look out for in a relationship. Do not ignore the red flags when God shows it to you. Or maybe before you guys get married, you get into a big argument that you guys had. And in the argument, you saw a different side of this person that you didn't know was there before. And it may want to make you want to take a step back and say, okay, is this really the person that I'm supposed to be married? Is this person good at communicating through issues? Is this person good at communicating through disagreements? Does this person get aggressive? Does this person get overly angry? Is this person someone who's abusive? So really look at how is the person when you argue. Really look at the different red flags that God is showing you. And if God exposes a big secret of that person that they kept from you this whole entire time, Maybe this is not someone that you should marry. Like, I believe that if there are big secrets or like deal breakers, it should be told in advance. So for example, if you've been dating this person for two years, but they kept it a secret that they have a child, that's something important because you're technically going to be like a step-parent to that child. You're going to have a role to play. So if they keep it a secret, and they're not telling you, and then closer to the wedding, you find out this big secret. That's a big deal. Or if you find out, if God exposes this person is cheating on you, cheating is a red flag. If they're cheating before marriage, then how are they going to be committed in marriage? So these are all red flags. And I believe that when God is exposing these things, when he's exposing the red flags, he's exposing the secrets. He's exposing the bad habits or the infidelities. He's exposing that maybe you need to slow down and really get to know the person that you're with and see if this is really the person for you and if it is really the person that God wants you to marry and if it is even the right time to settle down. So that's one of the things that God will do when he is protecting you from marrying the wrong person. The truth will come to light in everything that is hidden in the dark. God will begin to expose those things to really show you things as they truly are. Number 2. Another thing that God will do to protect you from marrying the wrong person. This is something that he did for the lady I mentioned earlier. He will break off the engagement. And maybe it's something that you found out about that person. So this could piggyback off of, you know, the first point of God exposing something. And then this may go into the engagement being broken off. Or maybe this person just doesn't feel right about marrying you anymore. And you're like, what's wrong? Explain to me let me understand. 
Why don't you want to do this? You know? And they break off the engagement. And you're completely dumbfounded and surprised because you don't understand. That was not the person for you. They did not have peace about it. And how can to walk together if they do not agree? That's what the Bible says in Amos 3 verse 3. So you want to make sure that the person that you're with is also hearing from God. Both of you guys need to be hearing from God. Both of you guys need to be in agreement. And both of you guys need to have peace about the situation and about the marriage. If in any way you do not feel peace, you do not feel right, you feel anxious, like, I'm not sure if this is the one, then take a step back and slow down. You don't have to rush into marriage. You don't have to rush into a relationship. When you meet the right person, God will help you and you will be sure that this is the person he wants you to marry. People always ask me, like, how do I know when this is the man that God has for me? How do I know? Let me tell you. You will just know. You'll just know it in your spirit, and you will have confirmations from God. There's a video on this channel about signs that this might be the man for you to marry. I will put the link in the description of this video. So definitely check that out. A lot of times, it just takes wisdom to understand husband and wife material. Understanding what a real man and woman of God looks like. It just takes wisdom. God does not want you to marry someone that is going to pull you away from him. Because this is going to lead you down the wrong path. God wants to protect you. And he wants you to be with someone who will lead you closer to him. Who will push you closer to him. So it takes wisdom by honestly looking at someone and evaluating their character and saying is this a true man of God? Is this a true woman of God? Does this person love me like Christ loves the church? So definitely check out that video if you haven't. God will break off the engagement because one of the persons in the party, whether it's you or that other person, someone is not going to feel right. Someone is not going to have peace about it. And it's not going to be able to move forward with the relationship. And the engagement is just going to break off before it gets to marriage. And thank God. Thank God that he broke off the engagement before marriage so that you don't have to get into marriage and then start contemplating divorce. God hates divorce. So thank God that he breaks off the relationship before it's too late. Thank God. So the third thing, the final thing that I want to talk about today, that God will do when he is protecting you from marrying the wrong person is that he will create distance between you guys. So maybe that person moves away or maybe you move away. God will create a situation where you have to make a decision of, you know, pursuing this relationship or moving to another place, and you will feel more led to move. Why? Because God is protecting you from this relationship, and you might try to continue to foster the relationship even after you move. So you might try to develop this long-distance relationship, but then you find it hard, and you feel like God's grace is not over the relationship. You guys are arguing more than often. The communication is lacking and it's just not working out. At that point, just let it go. Don't force it. If the person wants to move on to other things, then trust that God will bring the right person in your life. I believe that even if you have distance, or you have a long distance relationship, or you need to take a break from someone who maybe that person is who you're supposed to be with, but it's just the wrong time. God will bring them back into your life if it's really meant to be. If the person is really for you and it's not yet time, you may come to a point where you need breakup. You both will need to take a break. You may not even be communicating and there's a distance. But when the right time comes, God will supernaturally bring you back together. And there will be no doubt that this is God's doing. So if someone wants to go, if there's distance, if you have to leave and go somewhere, then just trust God and continue to follow his leading. And I just want to encourage anyone today who may feel discouraged. You feel hurt. You feel pain from this relationship because nothing is working. You had a lot of expectation of what this was going to turn out to be. And you just feel let down. You feel disappointed. And maybe you have spent a lot of time with that person. A lot of investment. A lot of time and energy into that relationship. And you're like, God. What happened? Why did this not work out? And you're finding it hard to trust God. You're finding it hard to love again. You're finding it hard to heal and open yourself up again. I pray for you today. May God heal you and restore your broken heart. 
May God guide you and show you his will for your life. You will not miss it in marriage. You will have a glorious and successful marriage in Jesus' name. Amen.